what really set Apple apart when Steve Jobs came back to the company in 1997 was that they made they made it so easy for people to see what it was that they stood for. He took a product line of over 20 products and distilled it down to four. He said, we're going to do a desktop and a laptop for pros and for individuals. And that was all we're going to do. So everyone knew exactly what Apple stood for. And every uh, he streamlined, got rid of all the committees, and he, he didn't have layers of approvals. He um, looked at all the communications we were creating, and he was... Uh, he just wanted everything distilled to its essence. And I think in total, it just looked very, very different from other companies. A lot of technology companies are very complicated. They seem complicated to people. And Apple presented itself with these simple solutions for some pretty sophisticated uses. I think any company can take advantage of the power of simplicity. This is one of those things that kind of baffles me, to be honest, because, because it's there for anybody to, to, uh, to use, and, and yet not many do. Um, it has to do with really understanding the power of simplicity and then having the follow through, because uh, an awful lot of companies that I've worked with in particular start out with these grand ambitions to simplify, and then you know, little by little they compromise, and then what they end up with is something that's not nearly as simple as what they started out to do. Um, and again, the difference in the Steve Jobs world was that he didn't allow those compromises to, to slip in. He said, this is what we're going to do, we're going to keep it very simple. Um, and when people tried to make it more complicated, he would sort of swap them down. So. Um, I think any company can look at its processes. Do we have too many processes? Do we have too many people involved along the way? You know, do good ideas get compromised? You know, protecting uh, the integrity of an idea as it moves from conception to final idea, that kind of thing. Anyone uh, needs to look at their job and, and as their mission is to innovate and think of, of new ways to communicate with the people they need to communicate with. It's, uh, I think it's to distill the message to, to the recipient to, it, to its core so someone really gets what they're saying. Um, I think oftentimes there are way too many choices put in front of people. You don't want to limit people, but at the same time you don't want to uh, choke them with too many choices and make, make it obvious what the advantages are. Like, uh, you know, the I think some companies, just to put it in a consumer uh, comparison, that uh, instead of having 30 different models, they offer a good, better, and best. Something that just clarifies everything they're talking about. And I think um, in any business, really, certainly, you know, a, a treasurer needing to communicate with, with an audience needs to distill the message and make the choices simple.